Hi, my name is Mike Bray, and I'm an elder here at Harper Church, and I have the opportunity to uh, share a devotion with you today. I'm going to be going uh, into the book of Romans, and I'm going to read chapter 5, verses 1 through 5. Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, we have also obtained access by faith into this grace in which we stand, and we rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Not only that, we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope, and hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. I've been uh, going through the book of Romans for the last couple of weeks, and I have to say, the book of Romans is awesome. And I am going to put that in the top five list of my most favorite books of the Bible. It's incredible. But as I was going through uh, chapter five, the first five verses, uh, I, I came across three traits that were really encouraging to me. Um, those traits would keep coming up in conversations that I would have with uh, family, with friends. Uh, there would be conversations of current events. And again, those traits would pop up in, in my brain and, and, and remind me of, the, of, of Romans. And as I reflect on my life experiences, I, I think there's still one trait that I just keep referring back to, and, and that, that trait is hope. So endurance produces character, character produces hope, and hope does not put us to shame. I, I love those that, that phrase in, in the book. The New American Standard Version of Romans 5.5 5 says, hope does not disappoint. And I think that's probably the version I like with that verse because to know that hope does not disappoint is such a secure feeling uh, and such a under, I have such more of an understanding of, of how hope uh, is being uh, shared there by Paul. Uh, J.B. Phillips also um, describes hope, and, and J.B. Phillips is a, a known Bible scholar, translator, and author, and he describes hope as a happy certainty, and I just really like how he says that, because a happy certainty is just a joy in something secure, certainty, that it's not something that's going to be uncertain. Um, so what do, I, what do I hope for? I mean, and what am I hopeful in. I can be hopeful in my health. I can be hopeful for my job. I can be hopeful for my family, um, their security, my security. Those are all wishes I have, but unfortunately, if I find my hope in all of those, I am going to be disappointed because circumstances come up, uncertain situations come up, and I find myself being disappointed because I put my hope in those things. So can I be hopeful in being disappointed? I, I can be afraid and I could be uh, hurt by others. Can I still have hope? I think I can, especially the hope that we're getting to here. Um, can I be hopeful in my eternity, uh, my salvation, or maybe my neighbor's salvation? I can definitely say yes to that. And those are, those are things that we should be uh, hoping in. But as I went through this a little bit more, I, I believe that our ultimate hope is, like in verse 2, is to see, to see the glory of God. So I keep asking my question, well, what is hope in the glory of God? And how do I gain that hope? How do I develop that hope in the glory of God? And, and as I reflect, I think the way that I can see that hope is to just know who God is. My time on earth is to know who God is. My time on earth is to have a relationship with him and to grow in him and know who he is and his son, Jesus. My life experiences have, have uh, given me those opportunities to know God. Robert and I came here to Port Orchard 30 years ago. We uh, didn't know a soul. We were learning our job. We're finding a church. We're developing friendships. Um, we had to experience that and, and we had to trust God and know that he was going to provide and protect and, and to guide. 
And again, when we experienced those things, we got to know who God was because he showed us favor. He showed us um, the opportunities to uh, be part of a community and to, to grow in who we are. Unfortunately, we've also had to persevere and endure difficult experiences too. We've, we've had broken and lost friendships, uh, had struggles with work, my role as a, as a husband and father, uh, the coping of losing loved ones. Those are all difficult, difficult experiences that, that I've had and, and we also that you, maybe you've experienced as well. Um, but I've seen God's hand through those times. And again, it's given me an opportunity to know who he is because, again, we may be disappointed. We may go through those struggles, but that those struggles... Uh, give us, uh, help us to endure through that. And again, God did not disappoint through those struggles that I had. Trusting in his steadfast love, uh, his, knowing his grace and mercy, and especially knowing his timing has given me a picture of who, of who he is and what he's doing in my life. So knowing God has helped me endure those situations and developed my character. And, and uh, honestly, I know that most of us would probably say that uh, character development is always uh, a, a difficult thing. It's it's a time which we're being refined and uh, we're being uh, tested or we're having to endure those those struggles. So uh, I know God has used those life experiences in in. Uh, my life and has produced uh, my character. And, and the wonderful thing about my character is it's not, it's not who the world thinks that I am, but who God thinks is I, who I am. And I can find my identity in my character. And my character is who I am in Christ and, and my relationship with him. I'm still being purified uh, in my heart, in my mind, in my soul. My character is continue to be developed through my experiences and my struggles, uh, but God's not finished with me yet, and my journey to refine my character is a long one, uh, which which brings me back to hope. If uh, as I'm going through those struggles and enduring through those, and my character is being developed, I continue to go back to knowing who God is, and and my my hope in the glory of God is to know who my Father is, and to know His Son Jesus. I want to uh, conclude with a, a verse. It's not in the book of Romans, but it is in the book of Philippians. It's it's Philippians 1, 6. And I, I love it because, it's again, it's another example of of hope. And I just feel like this verse oozes hope in my, in, in my life. For I am confident in this very thing, that he who began a good work in you, in me, uh, will be faithful to complete it at the day of Christ Jesus. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just uh, we just come before you now in wanting to to see the glory of, of you, Father, and we hope in that glory, God. May we get to know who you are more and more each day. May we see uh, how you uh, are in our lives through our experiences, through our opportunities, through our struggles, and God, we just we just want to be able to um, we just want to be able to to have our character developed. And, and through that, uh, we know, God, that you are uh, refining us and, and purifying us so that we can know who you are a little bit more and, and be more like your son, Jesus. We thank you for this day, and we ask that you would just uh, help us to, to continue to hope. In Jesus' name, amen.